everyone, this is Jenny from By Jenny Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to work up my men's chunky stripe beanie. For this pattern, you'll need a super bulky yarn. I'm using Bernat Softy Chunky. For the main part of the hat, you'll just need about 100 to 105 yards, and for the stripe, you just need 20 to 25 yards. You also need a 9mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a large eye darning needle, and a tape measure is going to be helpful with keeping on gauge. I will get all of this moved out of the way and then we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm all ready to get started up here. We're going to start this pattern with a magic circle. You can also chain three or four and then join with a slip stitch and form a circle that way. To make your magic circle, you're going to have your working yarn on the left, place your thumb on top of your yarn just like this, wrap your end of the yarn around your thumb and behind your working yarn right here. Just hold it there, insert your hook, let me move that out of the way, insert your hook here and then you're just going to grab your working yarn with your hook and pull it through the circle. Go ahead and chain one. And then you have your circle. For row one, we're going to be working 10 double crochet into the circle. One more. Okay, now I have my ten. And you're just going to want to take the end here and pull your circle tight. See how the hole closed up nicely there? Now just join to your first double crochet. Do not join to the chain one. So just work a slip stitch here to join these. And now we'll start row two. For row two, you're going to chain one, and then you just need to work two half double crochet into each stitch around. I'm going to leave you to go ahead and work that up, and then I'll meet up with you at the end of the row. Okay, I'm here at the end of row two. I just got to work my last half double crochet. You should have 20 half double crochet when you get to the end of this row. Join with a slip stitch. And we're always joining to the stitch, not the chain. So for row three, we're gonna chain one. Then we're gonna work one double crochet into the first stitch. And then we're going to work two double crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to be working this same pattern all the way around. One double crochet in the next stitch, two in the next, one, two. Go ahead and work your way all the way around and I'll meet up with you at the end of the row. Okay, I've just worked up my last double crochet for row three. Your stitch count for this row should be 30. Now we're going to join with a slip stitch. And I'm going to give you a quick measurement here before we move on to row four. So just make sure your circle is nice and flat. And then you just need to measure across the center. Looks like we have about four and three quarters inches there. If you're not getting gauge, you're going to want to change your hook size or change your tension, whatever works easiest for you. Okay, for row four, chain one. And now we're going to work two half double crochet in the first stitch and then one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. 
and we're going to be working this way all the way around so it'll be two one one two one one I'll work up a couple here with you and then i'll leave you to go ahead and work up the row so there's my two then just half double crochet into the next two working one only in each so go ahead and continue that pattern around and then i'll meet up with you at the end of the row all right i've made my way around i just have my last stitch here your stitch count for row four should be 40. go ahead and join for row five we're going to have another repeat so we're going to be working two double crochet into the first stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next four stitches and then we'll repeat that two and then one into the next four i'm going to leave you to go ahead and work up this row and then i'll meet up with you at the end okay i'm just finishing up row five here for row five you should have 48 stitches around and this is our last increase row, so I'm going to give you one final measurement here. Measure across the center and you should have about 7 inches. So now we're going to be working a repeat. Our next row will be chain one and then we're just going to work one half double crochet into each stitch around and then row seven you're going to work one double crochet into each stitch around and we're going to repeat the alternating rows until we have 11 rows total so i will put up a graphic for you so that you can keep track of what row you're on and what you should be working up but then I will meet back up with you at the end of row 11 and we will be changing colors. So if you're doing the stripe, you'll change colors with me. But if you don't want the stripe, you can just keep working with your current color. So here's that graphic for you. And then I will see you at the end of row 11. Okay, I'm just finishing up row 11 here. And now we are going to, if you want the stripe, you're going to join and then yarn over and pull through. And we're going to cut the yarn. If you don't want the stripe, you can just keep working on. Okay, now we're going to join our second color. So start with your slip knot and then you can join in any stitch that you'd like. I'm just going to join in the same spot that I fastened off. So go ahead and join with a slip stitch and then chain one. And now we're going to work two rows of half double crochet. So just half double crochet around, join chain one, work a second row of half double crochet, and then I'll meet back up with you and we'll join our black yarn again to finish off the hat. All right, I've got my two rows of half double crochet worked up here. We're just going to join at the end. And now we're going to fasten off yarn over and pull through and then we're just going to join our black yarn again make a slip knot and then again you can join in any stitch you'd like And now we're just going to work two rows of single crochet. So join with a slip stitch, then chain one, and then just work one single crochet into each stitch around. Do that for two rows, and then I'll meet back up with you and we'll fasten off.
Okay, I've worked up two rows of single crochet. I just got one more single crochet to work here. And this should bring you to row 15 is where you should be. Then we're just going to join with a slip stitch and fasten off. And then all that's left to do after that is to sew in your ends. So I'm here at the top of the hat where we started our magic circle. When you sew in this end, make sure you pull the circle tight and then you're just going to work your needle after you've threaded your needle, of course. You're going to just work your needle under the stitches. And I like to go around the circle a full time, like all the way around. And then you just run it under the stitches again, going in the opposite direction. And if you want, you can go back one more time. Just like that, and now it should be nice and secure. So you can cut your end. And then I've had a few people ask on previous videos, so I'm gonna make sure I give you the measurement of the length of the hat here. So the length of your hat should be about eight and a half inches. All right, so then I got both of my hats here. There we go. Thank you so much everyone for watching along and crocheting with me. I will hopefully be back very soon with another new pattern for you.